How much should it cost to get your air conditioning system charged? And why are you getting it charged? Today on Tips for Homeowners, I'm Tad, and I'm gonna be giving you homeowners tips to not only make you save money, but also make you more knowledgeable to be able to help yourself. So let's get started by showing you these gauges and talk about what I'm doing. So this is a set of gauges. This is an R22 unit. I'm gonna show you how to figure out if yours is R22 or 410A. And then I'm gonna tell you the difference. This gauge should be on about 70 right now. And it was on about 20 when I started charging. And right now it's on about 40. So it's almost charged. And the way that I know it's charged properly is I'm using a set of gauges and I use a temperature probe to measure the uh, line temperature. Also, this is a set of scales and you can tell I've added four pounds of refrigerant now. If you hire a technician to come to your home, you need to make sure they have a set of gauges and scales. If they don't have scale, then they could be overcharging you and you don't want that. So how do you know if you have a unit that's R22 and 410A and what is that? Well, R22 is a refrigerant that's used that is outdated and it costs a lot more money than 410A, which is another refrigerant that is being used widely in the HVAC industry by manufacturers. They're designing units with 410A refrigerant. So I'm gonna show you how to check your unit and figure out what type of refrigerant you use. This is the unit I'm working on. It's an outdoor unit made by American Standard. And this right here is the tag. Usually if the tag has enough letters on it and it's still visible, you can come out here and see it has HCFC, all right, R22, that's 22. So HCFC 22, 14 pounds and 11 ounces. This is how much this unit holds. This is the factory charge without the charge for the line sets. So you can actually tell what refrigerant you use and how many pounds. Now, how do you figure out how much it's gonna cost to charge your equipment and why would you charge your equipment? Let's come back over here. So how to figure out how much your equipment's gonna cost to be charged and why would you charge it? Now, the reason you charge your equipment is it's low of refrigerant and it's leaking somewhere. Uh, refrigerant doesn't just dissipate or disappear, it actually leaks and if you have a leak, you might need to have your equipment checked out and a leak search performed, which is using nitrogen or a leak detector and you're able to pump the system with nitrogen and you're using a soap test or you can use a leak detector, electronic leak detector. Most HVAC technicians have this and you can actually find visible signs of oil maybe on the line sets or the equipment. If it's a high pressure leak, it leaks very, very fast and usually you won't find any refrigerant in the equipment. This is the outdoor unit and in cooling mode, it would be a high pressure uh, zone here so it could leak out very fast. And usually the evaporator coil, which is indoors, uh, is where you find most leaks in the industry, in the field. Uh, and that's from my experience, is because it's colder, it condensates, the metal rust, and usually have leaks on the indoor coil. Now, you need to find the leak, you need to order the part, and then get it fixed. That way you're not having your air conditioning system charged every year, uh, because that can be very, very expensive if you have R22. And I showed you the tag outside is where you look. That's how you find out. Now, how do you find out how much it's gonna cost? Well, usually you can't really tell unless the technician comes to your house, but you can call a company and you can ask them what their prices are for the refrigerant that they charge for. So how much is your R22? How much is your 410A? And then when you know what your equipment takes, then you can kind of estimate, well, if it was half low, this is what it would cost per pound. And that'll give you a good idea to figure out uh, how much it's gonna cost. But remember, if you have a leak, you need to get a leak search uh, and you need to figure out what your part is that's leaking and fix it. Sometimes you can actually fix the leak by soldering uh, some of the copper pipes that have rubbed together from the manufacturer. Uh, that's an easy fix, may cost you uh, probably $100 for the labor, maybe 200, and then the price of the refrigerant. Uh, and then if you have a coil that's leaking, say your unit's 10 years old, you might need to replace it. Uh, and, but if a coil's uh, leaking, it could be a thousand, it could be uh, $2,000 depending on the size of the equipment and whether it's the outdoor or indoor coil. I hope this gives you some information to help you to save money. If you want more videos, check out my playlist, Tips for Homeowners. And remember, I'll keep you cool if you let me.